All right, so we're here uh, at Smithville Lake in Missouri. We're getting ready to pack up and move out. And we thought it would probably be valuable for a lot of people wanting to see how mechanical jacks work on a truck camper to show the whole process of how we're gonna mount this from start to finish. Hi, I'm Shalane, this is Dean, and we are Grassroots, Grassroots Living. Living. And this is how we live our love. start to finish. Um, one of the first things I do is I just measure it across and it was 60 inches across the bed of my truck and so I found the halfway point 30 inches and just put some mask or put some uh, duct tape down. I did the same thing from the inside of the jack to here. And it came out 49 inches to the, to the middle of my piece of tape here. And as I came across again from the inside of the jack at 49 inches, you can see it's hitting that. So if you'll notice, it does not line up with the, the middle of the window. That's why I think it's important there. And that way, as I'm looking through the rear view mirror, I can look right at the mark and and push it right back on. Right, if you've seen any of our previous videos, you know that I've complained a little bit about these mechanical jacks. It took me an hour and a half the first time to get this mounted. Um, you simply put the, the little notch here and you start cranking. And you can see it takes a long time to get it to go even just a tiny bit. My arms were exhausted by the time it was all over. We had some great subscribers who told me, hey, get yourself a little attachment that you can put on a drill. Slides right on in, does the exact same thing. The drill that we had though was so small and ordinary that there's no way in the world it even touched moving it up. I could bring things, bring it down pretty easy. You know, when there was no resistance, it was very, very quick. However, it did not have the power to go ahead and bring it back up. Um, so, Go out and get yourself a drill that has a torque setting. So it does, this one has it. And it has a, a clutch that allows it to, de to determine when it stops uh, trying to work. I have it on the very highest setting of 23. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this up about four inches, go to the other side over here, bring it up four inches, then go to the back and bring it up four inches. And we're just gonna gradually bring it up higher so that this is a little higher than the bed of my truck. Should be a lot easier today. We'll see how it goes. All right, so the next step is simply to remove all of our support features underneath. You can see we have four jacks that we were supporting the base of it with. It's now up high enough that we can remove the piece of plyboard. We're gonna put that in the back of our truck and then we'll go ahead and uh, continue raising it from there. I found an upside to feeling down Well, I took a good look around There's stuff to be learned But it to be turned, it seems Yes, there is You got to pay your dues Before it's all cooking some people want the dinner cooked and served And somehow that is what they deserve Narcissists with a runaway self-esteem Let me tell you Okay, so at this point, Dean's just going to go ahead and back up um, just a little closer to it so we can see if we need to, uh, if we're high enough or what we need to do. So 
so it looks like we still have a long way to go here. But it's been lifting real easy with that drill. This is where I start getting real nervous. It's on these four wobbly le little legs. Like a baby giraffe. So this is what we just discovered. Dean went to unplug the electric. We've got that. So that's no good. He just about put his hand right on it. Scared the heebity jeebities out of him. Woo, sketchy. Okay, so what Dean's doing now is that, I don't know if you can tell by uh, the video, but the ground is definitely unlevel here. He's essentially trying to make the ground a little bit lower on the left-hand side. Okay, he's gonna go ahead and lift it a little bit more. Come down here and look. Come down here. This side, I'm not sure. And mostly because of the board. You're clear. Okay, so this is only our third time doing this. It's definitely, uh, there's a learning curve, a little trial and error here. And it looked like he was about to hit on the right hand side, so he's pulling it forward. And we're gonna go again. You got to pay your dues before it's all cookies and cream. Some people want a dinner cooked and served. Okay, so you're in, right? And and you're safe, but this is gonna be on here for several months. Yeah. And over here I have zero clearance on this wheel well. Over there I have about an inch and a half, two inches. So I'm gonna have to pull forward back up. Right, so if we were just running this home or to our home base as such we might just leave it like this but because it's going to be on for several months he's going to try it again So this is where it gets tricky. On this side, you can see this just goes straight in. It's kind of dark in there, let's see. On this side, we've got the shower. So he's lined up in here. Show up in this direction. that's tricky to see but then you can see it protrudes out on this side which of course it doesn't do on the other side here let me see if I can show you see that so we've got to pay attention that that doesn't hit the back of the truck but it looks like he's lined up real nice and he's just got a little ways to go Like he's 
he's a little off balance, that he doesn't have it centered. But, but he does. <laughs> It's just that we've got this protrusion over here that makes it look like it's jankity wonkity when it's not. You're in. I had a lot of things in my mind as I was backing up, you know, do I have enough of a gap between the bed of the truck and the bottom of the trailer? Wasn't really thinking so much about the tape. That's why we showed you that last time, how I made sure the tape that I'd put down was right over the tape that I put in the, the bed of the truck. Right, because that tape was a new idea. We hadn't, we didn't know about that and we just learned from, exactly. from a viewer about that. As soon so. as I did that, it was a game changer. I was able to just slide it right back in, no problem. Um, this is worth its weight in gold. Um, went to Lowe's and we got this Craftsman for $69. And it just they happened to be having a sale that you could get back two batteries with it for free. So we got the two, this is only a 20 volt, but we got two 40 volt batteries for free, which were like a $99 value. Well, they were on sale for $99, yeah. but then we didn't even have to pay the sale price. Exactly. So, and the amount of labor, like I am not tired. Um, it, it is a beautiful thing. It saved me $1,500 from the electric jacks. Game changer. Love it. Okay, so what are we doing now? Now we're bringing it back down on the, on the bed of the truck. off the ground as far as I can. I think I have just enough battery to finish <laughs> this off. Thank goodness you have two more batteries yeah. just in case you do run out. And this is the small 20 volt. Came within six inches of where I needed on one battery. Oh. So you need to run in and put in a backup battery? Well, I can, but or I can just crank it. Oh, crank it by hand. Yeah, crank it by hand. Finish it off. So I'm just going to use this to finish off the last eight inches or so. But it's so much easier when you're not having to actually lift an entire trailer. Yeah, okay. Right, so we just have these simple attachments here to tie down the trailer onto the bed of the truck. Uh, I love these things. Um, and as soon as I get each one of these tightened, we're in good shape. We're ready to travel down the road. This is Grassroots Living reminding you to get down to the grassroots of what makes you happy and live your love. We're thinking of it. We'll see you next time. Peace out.